to all the girls whose stories are in this book. Thank you for being leaders. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being bold. We are grateful and inspired. And, are you ready? To all the leaders yet to come, big or little, I cannot wait to hear your stories. Hi, it's Mrs. Hot from the Morgan County Partnership, and I'm here with you today to celebrate Black History Month. And for this time, we're going to continue with our Tuesday series on race and diversity with a book called Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. I'm really excited to introduce you to girls from our past who struggled, who were different, they were unique, and they were wonderfully made. And they were able to find their strength and do some really cool things. Are you ready? Let's get started. Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, written by Vashti Harrison. Let's listen to what she says about this book. This book grew out of a project I began during Black History Month. It started as a drawing challenge to myself to illustrate one African American from history every day for the month of February and post the finished image to social media with a brief summary of the woman's accomplishments. As I researched and read amazing stories of women, both known and unknown, I was surprised to be moved so deeply. As a black woman, I have studied the history of my people, but never have I felt this connected to the beauty and the passion behind their boldness. Whether they were fighting for their families or for social justice, or daring to become an artist or an astronaut, each one of these women broke barriers for those who came after her. That's you and that's me, right? And they use their differences to be bold and to be leaders. We can do that too. Let's listen. In a society where being black and female meant being an outsider or sometimes even invisible, these women who dared to go after what they wanted to demand what they deserved some of them were reluctant leaders, while others were not even conscious of their bravery. But their legacies live on to prove the way for more of us to follow. Many of them didn't set out to be pioneers, but all of them were, and we can look to each one of them for inspiration. And that's why Mrs. Hot wants to share their stories for you, okay? We want to look to them for inspiration on how we can too overcome our struggles and look for others who have the same hardships we do and be able to overcome them, who look like us or who are different than us and realize as we come together, we can be positive. Let's keep looking. I wanted to tell you, this is from Vashti Harrison, she wanted to tell you all their stories together to celebrate not only their collective contribution to history, but also their diversity. Some of them you will recognize, such as Harriet Tubman and Rosa Parks, but you'll also meet less famous figures, such as Alice Ball and Mary Bowser. You'll meet scientists, politicians, doctors, painters, sculptors, dancers, and they are all black women. This in no way means that this book is only for black girls or boys. I hope readers of every background find these stories compelling and inspiring, but I did create it with them, my younger self, in mind. I think about what kinds of dreams I might have if I had known all about these women when I was growing up, if I had known that so many people who, liked me, who looked like me and had done such incredible things were able to. To be able to see yourself in someone else's story can be life changing. Let me read that again. To able to see yourself in someone else's story can be life changing. To know that a goal is achievable can be empowering, empowering. I hope that anyone who reads these biographies, whether or not they look like these little leaders, is inspired to go after the things that they are passionate about. Oh, it gives me goosebumps. 
This collection includes only a handful of the countless bold black women who have done extraordinary things and lived incredible lives. With these mini biographies, I hope to spark your interest and encourage you to find out more about them and the women who have followed in their footsteps. It could be you. The Little Leaders are here to guide you on this journey through history. I originally envisioned them as little girls serving as stand-ins for these famous women. That's why they're little. But as I've started sending them out, out into the world, they've become bigger than I could imagine. I designed them to be interchangeable because I want you, the reader, to see yourself in any one of them and to feel their strength and their possibility in you. With every turn of the page, you'll discover a new bold woman who changed history. Let them inspire your future too. Are you ready? Are you ready, Positive Actions? Let's take a look at some of these. Mrs. Hot wants to share them with you and celebrate these women. And maybe, just maybe, one of you out there will find something similar to what they're going through, or to how they look, or what they're living, and you'll find your path too. Are you ready? Let's get started. Oh, our next little leader is Ella Fitzgerald, the first lady of jazz. As a young woman in Virginia, Ella longed for independence and dreamed of one day becoming an entertainer. As a teenager, she was living on the streets and singing for pennies. But in 1934, at the age of 17, she got her big break. She entered the amateur night contest at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. She signed up as a dancer at first, but changed her routine to singing when she saw her competition. They were dressed in sparkling matching dresses while she was in tattered clothes. But she wowed the audience with her unique voice and won the first place prize of $25, worth about $500 today. And she literally went from rags to riches. The following year, she landed a role as a lead singer with Chick Webb and his orchestra, a popular band that regularly played at one of Harlem's hottest nightclubs, the Savoy Ballroom. At the same time, she was building a solo career. In 1938, she recorded her first album and her first single, A Tisket, A Tasket. Her career snowballed from there. In the 1950s, she developed her famous instrumental style of singing called scatting. She collaborated with greats from all over the music industry, including Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, and Frank Sinatra. In 1958, she made history when she became the first African-American woman to win a Grammy. Over her long and successful career, she recorded more than 200 albums and some 2,000 songs. Ella has gone down in history as one of the most iconic voices of all times. She was fondly known as the First Lady of Jazz and the First Lady of Song. <laughs> 